What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back tonight. It's going to be a late video for you, and a quick one. But we got to talk a little bit about the J&D pictures that we've now seen released. We're looking at option A, B, and C. We get to see what it's coming with. And uh, I've got some thoughts. So stick around. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show. And let's get into it. I give you Ben Thomas. Yo, Dad. Here we go. Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to talk about this really quickly. It is like midnight, which is a little ridiculous to be talking about six scale right now, but we've been talking about this J&D possibility all week, right? We've talked about the rumored pricing. We've talked about what we think of the potential likeness just from the side profile. And we wanted to know how is J&D planning otherwise to separate themselves from the competition? Hot Toys, Inart, what are they gonna do? Well. We're getting some images here from J&D, so they're controlling the message at this point. They're showing us what it looks like they're planning to give us with the single pack, the two pack of head sculpts, or the two pack with both bodies. So let's look at the first option first here. Let's call it option A for the sake of argument. Now the rumored price has been that the single version would be $800. That's to be determined, so keep that in mind. That may change, but I'm not actually too worried about the likeness even at this point, because it's a strange photo. You can't really see the face at all. It looks good from this angle. I'll give it that. The weathering on the jacket looks pretty good in the clothing. It's the accessories that are seeming a little lackluster, at least for me at this point, seeing only the six hands. Now you do get that seamless forearm piece, which was a big deal for the in art release. And I'm happy to know that if we're not getting the silicone posable finger sculpt that they showed in their teaser video last week with the, with the minimum release, the option A, at least we're getting seamless forearms. So that's a win. I will give them that. This is the first time that you can get a rooted hair joker single pack. You couldn't get that with the in art release. So that's also a point, at least for J&D. The accessories seem virtually the same as what we've got in all the other releases. Now I understand there's only so much maybe that you can give to the Joker. I see that we've got that bomb ignition switch. We got that gun. Hopefully they're die cast pieces, especially with the handcuffs. Again, that should be pretty standard at this point. The grenade satchel that goes in his jacket, I think looks good. Maybe it'll help control some of the crazy wires. I had a hard time with my inart on that one. Um, the cards, again, are standard. The money feels kind of standard. Uh, and the machine gun also comes with every release dating back as far as the DX11 Joker from Hot Toys. So the $800 here must be in the rooting and it must be in that sculpt to technology under the skin that we can't otherwise necessarily see. So seems high. Let's look at option B. Option B comes with two dogs, uh, which of you know, which of course a cool scene at the end of the dark night sets the dogs after the dark night. That's kind of an interesting scene. Poor dogs get thrown down a hole. I hate to see it. <laughs> um, I do like that you've got the two different platforms here that we're seeing. The chair is interesting. I don't remember the chair having those metallic pieces on the bottom there, the, like what looks like it bolts into the floor. Don't remember that, and it's not on my DX11 chair. Um, but not to say that that one was more accurate either. I'd have to look back. It's weird though that it gives you the chair and no table, no table and lamp, like we again saw with the DX11 Hot Toys back in the day. And no rocket launcher, no more hands, no like the selection of the selection of bare hands is really minimal as well. So if you want to have a, a gloveless version, like this is the only one you're going to get. I guess you could do the clapping pose or the pose where he's got his hands just resting on his legs. Um, but there's no jail bench, so you can't necessarily recreate the jail scene either, even though they've given you the wood floor. So it's feeling a bit mixed. Now, I have to say, I think my biggest criticism up till now with both the Hot Toys reissue, their newest version, and the in-art version, I've been really critical that neither of those figures came with a laughing head sculpt. This is the Joker. He needs to be laughing. It's not the best angle for that second head sculpt down there in the bottom left corner. And it's a small image. He's definitely smiling. <laughs> 
but he's not laughing. So we've got kind of his stern look over on the right, the main display, and a smiling look, a cheeky joker look. For sure, cheeky, smiling, definitely there. I'm a little disappointed that it's not a laughing sculpt. It still means that if this is the final kind of look, we haven't had a laughing joker sculpt since the DX11, which is still a missed opportunity in my opinion. Now, I think the dogs look cool, but they also kind of look plasticky. So until we get a chance to know what they're made of, if there is any soft touch material that this picture is just not showing that well, a couple questions there definitely remain to be seen. But the rumor here for option B, for two head sculpts, one body, dogs, chair, and the array of accessories that you see is 1200 bucks. Last option here, option C, we'll call it. Now, in J&D's teaser video, they showed the, the hands, the sculpted hands that had the movable fingers, which I'm sure is on, obviously, one of these bodies. And that was pretty cool. They said that that was an option C option only. So that was contributing to why the rumored price price for option C is $1,700. You also get an additional body. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. So the only weird question I have about that is, that means that really the only difference between option C and option B and a $500 price increase potentially, again, rumored, is you get an extra figure body so that you can display it all at the same time. But to me, I don't necessarily think I need to display two Jokers at the same time. I already have a hard time doing that with the in-art one, but at least they gave us a jail cell diorama. So I could make it look like a different entire setup. This would look like exactly the same two Jokers standing beside each other, just with a different expression. So it seems not necessarily worth the extra money. The hands, don't get me wrong, are cool. Articulated fingers, that's insane. But $1,700 is getting into the, the category of unfathomable pricing for six scale, if it actually ends up being correct. Now, a lot of my criticism, I think would wash away if all of the pricing that's rumored here is wrong. If these end up being lower in cost than we're expecting. But even at the $1,200 price point, I feel like people were losing their minds, losing their minds with Inart being $1,000 for two figures. But at least you got the jail cell diorama, you got the bench, you got so much more it feels like. And they got it first. I understand that JD has probably been working on this shit for a while. <laughs> so it's probably really frustrating for them that other companies were able to beat them to the plate. But then we would expect so much more I think as collectors now. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are just willing to pass on this. Because while I'm sure the likeness, once we get a chance to see it up close, I am thinking it could be better than what we've got. I still don't think that's necessarily worth spending the money on again, again. I've got a lot of other things I like. I'm a big geek, just like hopefully most of you watching. There's a lot of stuff that I'd really like to buy. And while the Joker is one of my favorite characters of all time, especially Heath Ledger's performance, don't know if I could justify it. So again, these are teased images for now. Hopefully we'll get a lot more product photos coming here over the next couple days because now this is going to light the figure community on fire, I'm sure. I want to hear your comments down below. Positive or slightly negative, but please be mindful of criticism. Obviously, I want to make sure it's still kind of a positive take on this. It's just it's a bit of a confusing take for me. <laughs> I think more than being negative. I feel like if I don't want it, I probably just won't buy it. I feel like a lot of you feel the same way because at least now we've got other jokers at our disposal. At least now we've got other options, which is good. Options are good. So guys, I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts on these joker photos, option A, B, or C? If you're gonna get the JNT, is this getting you more excited? Maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. But thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to the Ben Thomas show. Check out the new member perks. We've got some cool badges up and available for everybody. I hope you like the show. We'll catch you on the next one everybody.